Hey, what's going on everyone? It's your boy Redstone IX here. Welcome back to another command block tutorial video. Now today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do item gravity slash gravity gun commands in Minecraft. And what I mean by that is that these commands will allow you to give items like when you drop them on the ground and such or leave them on the block, it will give them no gravity. They'll be able to be just floating in the air and such. And also there's an item that can just enable items to have that up ability as well now before i go into more detail on what those commands are into making this work guys you know the drill make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss another video apart from that guys let's begin today's video okay guys so here are all the commands right here so i got a couple of commands for different things into making this work and as always all of these commands here will be in the description down below so you guys can copy and paste them into your world later on. Now, let's start this video. So first off, I'm going to demonstrate how this works. So we're going to first start off with summoning items with no gravity to start out with. So when I press this button, as you can see, we got these random items here. We got a diamond, iron sword, and a dragon head all just floating up in the air and not on a block. Pretty neat, huh? So I will go over the commands for just like one of them, so at least you can know how this works in case you just want to summon an item with no gravity. So here it is, so it's summon item, then I put the squeaky lines and I put 1.5 for the height, and you can change this to whatever you want. Then inside the squiggly uh, brackets we got no gravity colon 1, and then we got the name of the item right here which is a diamond. Then we close both brackets right over here. So same thing for the iron sword and same thing for the dragon head right here. Very nice indeed. And when you grab them and, and drop them back on the ground again, they pretty much go back to having gravity again. So they only have the no gravity when they have not been picked up yet and such. Okay, so now that you've seen that, let's move on to the item gravity gun over here. So, I'm gonna get this, turn this on, and turn this on. And I've got a bunch of uh, random items here to, to float, you might say so. How it works is that when you hold the gr item gravity gun in your offhand, and you can pretty much hold right click or just throw while right clicking, but I'm going to hold down right click and then hold down Q while going through my inventory and watch this. And as you can see, the items pretty much just float away just like that. Very nice indeed. Like, have you ever seen like items just float around like that? Or have you ever seen yourself trying to throw items like that? And you're probably wondering, how do I get them back down if I throw them too high? Well. So when we hold it in our main hand again, that actually removes their gravity, so like these ones down here. Like the iron axe you saw for a little bit that I dropped to the ground. And also I made something else that when you hold right click after the item's gone to the ground, and if you're close enough, the dropped items will start to appear back in your inventory. Pretty much giving you like your own gravitational pull you might see. And when you hold down right click, you can pretty much do the same thing for all the items. They'll just be dropping down one by one. Just like that. Okay, so now that you've seen that, let's go over the commands into making the item gravity work. But first, I'm gonna eat this cake. For some, for some reason, I'm hungry. Ah, that's better. So we're gonna put all this away right here. Turn this off, and turn this off, and let's get rolling. So first off, as always, we need a scoreboard to make this work. So here it is. So it's scoreboard objectives add item underscore gravity. Then we got minecraft dot use colon minecraft dot carrot on underscore on underscore a underscore stick right here. Then this one over here just simply removes the scoreboard if needed. Now here are the commands into activating the item gravity gun. So this first command over here activates the item gravity gun when it's in your offhand. So again, when the special carried on a stick named item gravity gun is in your offhand, it's going to run this. 
scoreboard players set at E inside the brackets we got score e scores equals inside curly brackets item underscore gravity equals one two dots right here and then close both brackets and then you got item underscore gravity with zero at the end here just like that and then this is the command that gives items the no gravity effect so it's basically execute at p run data merge at e type equals minecraft colon item we got comma sort equals nearest limit equals one right here so it only does it one at a time and then you you put the nbt tag over here at the end which is no gravity colon one at the end here so that's pretty much the tag that gives it the no gravity thing, allowing you to have items in midair. And actually, you don't have to just throw down the items, like, in the air just to make them float. Like, let's say if you just wanted to, like, have a nice little floating item and break its pedestal beneath it. Hold on, let me just center it real quick. So you can pretty much just right-click it once, and then when you remove the block, the water bucket will just be floating there. So you can do it that way if you wish. And then just simply right click to make it drop, then right click again just to make it come back in your inventory. If it's a fair distance away from you, that is. Okay, back to the commands here. So we've gone over these, now we're gonna go over these three right here. So this one over here basically activates when the thing is back in your main hand. So again, when the carrot on a stick named item gravity gun is in your main hand, it's going to run the exact same command as this one before. Just back in your main hand. And then this is the command that gives items their gravity back. So again, this command is the exact same except we're going to change no gravity from 1 to 0 right here. This gives them their gravity again. And now this last command over here basically pulls the items towards you if they're on the ground. So let's go over it. So it's execute at P, run, execute if entity at E, type equals item, comma, MBT equals on ground, 1B. So this makes sure that items are on the ground before doing so. Distance equals 0 dot dot A, so if you're in like an 8 block radius of it, it will bring the items towards you, then it will do TP at E. Type equals Minecraft item, distance equals 0 dot dot 8, sort equals nearest, limit equals 1, at P. Just like so. And if you don't want it to teleport to other players that are not you, you can change this to your own username if you wish. And yeah, that is pretty much item gravity slash gravity gun commands in Minecraft. And that, my friends, is gonna wrap up for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this, Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss another video. Apart from that guys, thanks for watching, I'll catch you all next week in the next one. Goodbye!